Hello guys, because this side event is a little bit tricky, I also thought I would make an English video because I made a whole calculation how you get the best rewards for you and how you can plan your best outcome for this side event. Currently, you know, uh, when you uncollect it, you get 120 euro uh, charges or dice, coins, whatever it is, at the beginning. Uh, through your in-game mail, a lot of people already jumped in in the first quest difficulty without purchasing the correct caskets. You can see here on this side there is the caskets, here you see the feathers which will be available throughout the month, and here are the different quest difficulties with their comparative rewards. So when you start with 120 euro charges, buy the first five caskets, you can start as you can see with a green indication here with quest 6 difficulty. When you then download the spreadsheet, the link to it is in the description, you can type in, okay, I want to do quest uh, 6 three times. Oh, this is not giving me enough reward to unlock quest 7. Four times, no, it's still enough. Five times, oh, now I can purchase the next casket and unlock the next difficulty. Same goes for quest 7, you can go in, you will need six uh, run throughs to get the next one, seven, ten, and again, seven. In the bottom right, you will see that it counts the feathers and shows you how much feathers you can use, and always indicates red if there is some, some uh, issue there. As you can see, if this ten and seven is red, you would not be able to access these areas. If you started, for example, with the first quest in the first day with one run through it, you will see that still you then can calculate it because you, for example, just would need four runs through quest six to get to quest seven. You still would need f uh, six runs through quest seven to unlock quest eight. Um, let's check. You need eight runs through quest eight to unlock quest seven and then just nine runs in quest nine. That means you still have seven runs in quest 10 difficulty to get the maximum reward. So the difference is not too much. In summary, when you type in all the runs which you wanted to, to do and which you plan out, you see this is the maximum reward you can get uh, with the indication on the left side. I hope this will help you a little bit to, to see how you can run through the event to maximize your outcome. Obviously, if you say quest 10 is too difficult for you, you also can say, okay, I will just do um, 20 times quest 8 or 24 times quest 8, you can choose your plan for yourself. As I said, link to this file is in the, in the description. Help yourself, download it. I think it's best to download it on a computer because the visual visibility is better, but you also can use it on a, on a phone. So just help yourself, plan your run through the side event and enjoy with it and have fun with the rewards. Have a good time, like the channel, subscribe, see you next time, bye.